call this beast the Jade Emperor. It, the cabinetry started life as a Hammond organ and uh, I repurposed it and uh, I love this old, I mean it's super high quality mahogany veneer which you know I guess Hammonds were the Rolls Royces of the organ world. Uh, this is basically a, um, a hot rodded AC 15 although I guess an AC 15 is hot rodded already so um, what have I done here I've got a cathode bypass switch for added gain to, to cut gain uh, got pento triode switching on the preamp the uh, EF86 preamp um, typical sort of Vox tone filter six position high cut and a very nice reverb in this in this uh, system uh, grill cloth was off the old Hammond as well and come around take a look at the back I really try to make use of any parts of the old system that I can what's going on down here Hammond organ yay um, a whisper quiet fan in the back um, probably didn't need it but I like to keep everything cool I mean this is a pretty high gain amp so there's quite a lot going on we've got um, four four eight or 16 ohm choices here got a foot switch for the reverb and um, some EL84 power tubes 5y3 rectifier Jensen, uh, looks like this is another C12N. Let's have a look down here. C12N, yep. Uh, where's their number? Okay, I'm trying to find their date. 220313. Okay. I'm not that good at reading these, but that could be the 13th week of 1963 uh, or something like that. Uh, okay, so there she is. And this originally, I guess, came from Penny Owlsley Music Company, who I believe made Hammond. Uh, but of course, completely stripped out the chassis and rebuilt it. As usual, just playing the old parts caster. So we got... Uh, Let's start with the tone filter. Uh, six position, kind of a standard kind of voxing. There's the other extreme. Much thinner, right? So basically we're just rolling off the highs here. And uh, this was done because uh, Vox, Vox came up with this in their amps because um, the EF86 being a pentode uh, usually needs a cathode follower stage and doesn't really like going straight into a tone stack because of impedance matching. But if in, you can get around that by just going having a filter switch with capacitors in it to, to roll off the top and it basically acts the same way without having to have all of that extra... EQ going on. You also get a high cut here, which is quite effective. And if I remember rightly, I think that's uh, post phase inverter. Uh, reverb, of course.
off the cathode bypass on the preamp. <laughs> about it really is that it's not light it's um, a studio amp maybe be a very good studio amp uh, it's very quiet uh, so you know there's not too much noise the fan in the back is whisper quiet you can't you can unplug it too if you want to but anyway there she is the Jade Emperor a thing of beauty <laughs> <laughs> 